Hey guys, so I was recently asked whether it's possible to sync the tempo of the GX10 or the GX100 via your recording software such as Cubase or Logic, Ableton or any of those kinds of digital audio workstations. And absolutely yes it is. So I just wanted to do a very quick video to show you how this can be done. Now I'm using Cubase 12 Pro but the similar steps would apply for pretty much any door available. So you can see now my tempo here is 140 beats per minute. Now if I change that tempo to 148, you can see on the display of the GX100 that it is changing in real time. So I'll just go up to 158 and again, automatically it changes and you can see the tap tempo button is also flashing at the same tempo. One thing to note here is you can see that the M is in the next to the tempo, which represents that it is receiving MIDI clock. So let's look at how we can do this. Now, the first thing to do is to be able to receive MIDI to your GX10 or GX100. In this case, I'm using the GX100 and I've just got an old school Roland USB cable connected from my computer directly to the back of the GX100. Now, what we need to do is make some settings within the GX100 so that we can uh, make this receive the MIDI correctly. So just hitting the menu on the GX100, go into the MIDI menu, MIDI settings, and you can see that I've got the sync clock set to MIDI auto. The main thing is to ensure that you don't have this set to internal, okay? So the MIDI auto is what we need. And in this case, we're not sending any MIDI clock information out, we're just receiving it. So I'm gonna have the clock out off. And of course, we need to make sure that the channel that we're receiving on is the same as what we have set up in our door. So I've got channel one receiving on. So now let's have a look at the settings within Cubase here. So I'll go to transport, project synchronization setup, and you can see that we've set the MIDI timecode as our timecode source. And then going over to destinations, we've got our MIDI clock destinations and we've got this set to UM1. Now, if you've got your GX10 or GX100 connected via USB, then you will see that listed here in the destinations. Now I've got the MIDI clock follows project position, which means regardless of whether I'm looping a section or whatever, it will maintain the MIDI uh, pulse. Also always send start message and send MIDI clock in stop mode. So even if the, uh, the project isn't playing, and in this case, I've got it set to 156 now, and you can see on the screen of the GX100, it's also 156. Now, even though I'm not playing the project, if I change this tempo, I'll just, close that panel so it lets me do it. Change the tempo to 168 and you can see that it's automatically updated on the screen on the GX100. Okay, so again, just going back into the transport settings, project synchronization, destinations, um, and that's pretty much all you need to do. So you'll have similar settings in your door of choice and it's just a matter of configuring so that you are sending out from your door directly to the device that you're connected to, whether it's a GX10 or GX100. Uh, again, the settings may differ slightly depending on whether you're using Logic or Ableton, whatever the door is. However, it is absolutely possible to send the tempo directly to your GX10 or GX100. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.